Hey, heathens. Uh, all right, so these say the dumbest things. I'm going through my local Walmart when I come across some t-shirts. One that I really liked, and for six bucks, I almost bought it. Um, it said, uh, save the planet. It's the only one with beer. Uh, thought it was very fitting and uh, suited me just fine. However, as I was there and I was looking at it and showing my wife, I happened to glance over and I noticed uh, a few religious t-shirts there. Uh, one in particular caught my eye, and it said, push. Pray until something happens. So let's think about this concept. Pray until something happens. All right, let's say that we wanted to pray that it would stop raining. So we pray, pray, pray. Oh, look, it stopped raining. Well, of course it did. Eventually it was going to stop raining on its own. So yeah, I guess if you pray long enough, something will happen. Um, maybe we pray to get better, but instead we die because we didn't do anything about it. Well, something happened. I guess we go on to heaven then. This whole concept of pray until something happens. I mean, the, the whole concept is flawed. It kind of works like this. Uh, if you pray and it happens, then God did it. If you pray and it doesn't happen, then you keep praying until it happens on its own, and then God did it. Anyway, I thought it was pretty stupid. Um, it qualified for this, but it got me thinking, I wonder if there are any other stupid t-shirts that are out there. Well, I found a few. Okay, so check out this acronym here. Police, preach to others the love we share in Jesus Christ every day. Now, notice, that's not even close. It's like, uh, you know, articles and things like that can be left out, like the to, the the, um, in. Those will be left out, but they use in, uh, and they don't use we share or even Jesus, but they'll use the Christ. I mean, at least try and make this stuff fit if you're going to do that. Then you got this wonderful little number, but hey, we've already covered that in a previous one of these, haven't we? Christmas celebrate his birth. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be read Christ must celebrate his birth, except for must is misspelled, and let's face it, his birthday's not December the 25th. Who are they trying to kid? Uh, oh, what God told Moses about abortion, thou shalt not kill, except that God later commands Moses to uh, rip out the babies from the bellies of the pregnant women, and uh, so apparently God doesn't have a big problem with abortion after all. This one's nice. Lord, keep your arm around my shoulder and your hand over my mouth. I know a few of them that need to have someone's hand over their mouths, that's for sure. How about happily forever after? I guess now they're starting to admit that it's a fairy tale. After all, uh, oh, get stoned like Paul. Is that really the message that you want to put out there? And what would religious t-shirts be without creation? Because a monkey wasn't my uncle. You gotta throw some creationism in there, right? Yeah, it wasn't monkeys, it was ape-like primates, you dimwit. Or just say no to evolution. <laughs> some people have. So here's what I want you to do. See if you can't find something worse than the examples that I use. There's got to be some out there. I found those in just a matter of, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes of uh, doing some quick searches. So. Hit me with your best ones. Let's, let's find the dumbest. Now, they need to be legit, not mocking Christian t-shirts or other religions, whatever. Uh, I don't want something that's mocking another religion. I want it to be something that, you know, a, a religious person would actually wear that is retarded and they just don't get it. Anyway, uh, looking forward to your responses, but remember, don't take my word for it. Think for yourselves.